Hello everyone, it's Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware. I am with Paul at Qualcomm. He's going to show off some of the cool features of one of the 8CX based reference platforms. So that's the machine right there. We're connected to a pair of 4K displays, so three displays running simultaneously off the machine. Paul, why don't you kick it off and show off what it can do? Sure, great. So we're showing here the 8CX platform. This is our reference device. And as you mentioned, we have two 4K displays that are being powered at the same time. Two 4K 60 displays from the device over Type-C to HDMI. Also at the same time, we're driving the internal uh, Full HD display as well. Uh, we're showing a couple of things here today, kind of in the workspace scenario where you have multiple different apps open. You can imagine having um, PowerPoint open, Excel open, which are open on some of these uh, external monitors. We also have a browser, if I can find my... Um, I will bring this down as well. So I can just bring down this hot hardware tab directly from the top and load it locally on the, um, on the internal platform. So this will load in a second here. Um, so you see that come up very quickly and snappy. You know, I'm able to go through and I'm able to uh, cycle through multiple different applications. I'll show a couple of things here that are really interesting. One is the fact that this is all running on LT. So you can see this is all running on the Ryzen LT network. Um, at the same time, I'm actually logged into a Norton VPN as well. Right? Okay. So again, let's just keep in mind all this going through VPN, which IP is based out of uh, San Francisco, and I'll pull that up in a second. Um, showing a couple of other enterprise things from a partner perspective. So we have VMware Workspace ONE, which is this application from the client side that was ported to ARM by partners at VMware. And we will give it a second to load. So I showed a couple of different apps. So we have PowerPoint, uh, I'll drag down again to this window. So I'm able to run that locally, but there's a lot of other uh, enterprises that actually require these applications to run in the cloud as well. So uh, we have the Horizon Cloud Client that's ported to ARM. And so you'll see this will actually pull up a VM directly in the cloud. So I'm able to launch whatever application, in this case it's specifically uh, Microsoft Access. Okay. So this will come up, and there you go. So that's running from a VM in the cloud over Verizon LTE um, at a resort in Maui right now. That's right. Okay. Through a VPN whose IP is based in San Francisco. Gotcha. That's right. So we'll just connect quickly disconnect from this uh, uh, VM. Um, I'm going to pull down this other tab where I'm going to show you from the IT admin perspective what that would look like. And uh, I'm able to manage this device. So I was able to register the device earlier today onto the to the. VMware admin console. Okay. And you can see this is the Anthony Rice device. Uh, and I can manage it just like I would any other PC. So I can wipe the device, I can push policies to the device, but unlike other PCs today, all the platforms do support GPS. So I can also ping the device and locate the device just like I would have done. Gotcha. So from the IT admin perspective, really that seamless always on, always connected allows me to better keep track of that inventory and manage the platforms. Great. Now, in terms of hardware, I know this is a reference platform, this particular device is not going to get sold, but what are we looking at here? What's, in, what's inside this machine? So we have the ACX platform, which is is an uh, octa-core processor. It has four performance cores and four power cores. Mm -hmm. The performance cores are really used for some of the heavy-duty use cases. So you see that for browsing, right? Firefox actually does uh, offload uh, a different, uh, a different uh, tab to each of the different cores. Um, and then also at the same time, we have uh, power cores as well. So the power cores are really ideal for tasks that are happening in the background. For example, OneDrive seeking that's happening in the background. You actually don't care that happens quickly as long as it's going to get done on, in a reliable manner. Um, we do support, this specific device is configured for 8 gigabytes of RAM. Okay. Um, and, and roughly what's expected battery life going to be on a device like this? So we expect uh, definitely over a day of battery life of okay. standard usage from a platform perspective. Okay. So multiple days I think will be expected again from the OEM OEM side things. Great. Thanks a lot, Paul. Thank you. Hello everyone, Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware here again. We have another uh, Qualcomm 8CX reference platform demo. I'm going to hand it over to, to show off some Lightroom and some browser action here. Go ahead. So right here we have Firefox running 10 tabs. I have a bunch of websites here. You can see how quickly it is to change between tabs. There's absolutely no lag. We're surfing through a bunch of websites here. I also have Chromium. Okay. You can see how quickly it is. And in parallel with all this, we have Lightroom. I have 122 photos loaded to this collection. Um, we can do any kind of work that is expected from Lightroom. So change the exposure, change the contrast, apply vignettes. And then when we're done, we can come here and edit the same photo in Photoshop. So let's open Photoshop here. 
And now Lightroom and Photoshop are not running natively. These, these are running under emulation, correct? Yeah, so uh, the bro both browsers are running ARM 64 bits. Okay. The Lightroom and Photoshop are 32 bits emulated. Got right? it. So we can show like a heavy application working uh, in emula emulated conditions, what, what to expect. And you can see it, I mean, even, even a heavy application like Photoshop, you can expect to have like a very good usability. The user experience, I mean, you shouldn't feel any different. Sure. Um, all that in the meantime, we have uh, our Norton end-to-end uh, -end encryption, mm -hmm. right? One of the partners we announced today. We also have uh, uh, PowerPoint. We're connected over LTE all at the same time. So this is all the stuff we are doing here in parallel. Great. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.